everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Asa and I make videos on DIYs, uh, skincare, beauty routines, makeup tutorials, travel and a lot of uh, fun stuff. So please subscribe to my channel and keep on watching. So today's video is about this amazing Uptan by Forest Essentials and this is not a sponsored video. Um, I just love this thing. I recently bought it when I was in India and I swear by this product. It is very very good. Uh, the one that I'm talking about is uh, the Facial Uptan and uh, it is from their Sondarya range. And now Facial Uptan is something that you know you can use to wash your face or to use as a scrub or I mean if it has that kind of texture or you can use it as a face mask. This product I really like. Uh, this is perfect for dry to combination skin. You know if you have an oily t-zone like me and dry cheeks. So this product is definitely very very good for you. Um, what I like about this product is the glow and the clarity of skin that you get right after using it. And it's not like it's gonna clear your skin like at all your pigmentation at one go but it does make a lot of difference um, according to um, according to the recipe it has uh, fennel seeds star anise the the star shaped spice that we use in food it's interesting that it has that but it has fenugreek which again is very very good for your skin because fenugreek has a lot of um, oil so it can you know moisturize your skin it has saffron and lemon peel so that's also very very good for removing uh, pigmentation or tan so this is a very good product for you know removing your tan uh, so if you have any uh, wedding or function to attend what you can do is you know just apply this on your face and let it dry for some time then scrub it off and instantly you'll see a change in your skin and you'll be really really refreshed and you'll feel that your skin has been um deep pigmentized it becomes glowy and clearer yeah let's not go into coining new words and this comes with this really cute wooden spatula i really like this because you know you can just take a little bit of it and you don't have to use the kitchen spoon and stuff although that doesn't really matter but yeah clearly don't have anything in my mind coming back um, you can mix this with aloe vera juice you can mix it with rose water or you can mix it with yogurt now the girl at the counter she told me that you can even mix it with uh, tomato juice which makes sense you know if you have a lot of sunburn uh, tomato juice is very very good for removing sunburn so it uh, I think will double its power and yeah it will be very good for your skin comes in this um, brown paper packaging. I really like the packaging. Um, Forest Essentials are known for its quality of bottles and product and everything's just perfect. So this is how it looks. It's in a round jar sort of container with a golden colored lid. And then you unscrew it. And what I really like is generally these sort of powdery things come without this cap. So you know, as soon as you open it, it's spilled all over, which is not the case with this, and that's a good thing. And then you just, you know, open this, and this is the product. And I know I have a cold, but I really like the smell of this. Thankfully, I can still smell it. It's like, um, it's like sandalwood with a hint of some spice. It's probably star anise. But yeah, it's very good. I love it. I like how you smell after you've used this. Okay, now let me stop being so. Okay, so what I do is I take like ever so little of it, like just this much. It's not even um like uh, the label says. It's like half teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and then I pour it. I'm going to use it with yogurt and yogurt is also very good for you know moisturizing your skin or if you have acne and uh, and what else and for removing tan so I think it's a good combination and then I just yeah 
just take like a half teaspoon of yogurt and then I just mix it up. Yeah, so it's all mixed up. And I'm sorry, I did have a smaller bowl. I know it looks really weird in that big bowl. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, wash my face with water and then apply it on my face. I wash my face with water. Yeah, and then I just go ahead and apply this on my face. And I should probably tie my hair. Are you one of those people who never tie their hair up? I don't think I do. Except when I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking. So I don't want my hair in the bowl. And I often would not like that. Yeah, now that I've tied my hair, I'm gonna leave this on my face for um, some time so that you know becomes a little tacky. I don't want to completely dry it because. Uh, Although you can do that, but I want to make it a little tacky so that then, uh, so that then, so that I can use it as a scrub and you know scrub off all the dead skin and make my skin even more beautiful. Yeah. So now that it has become a little tacky, what I do is I take a little bit of water on my fingers and then I start scrubbing it. And I scrub it so that you know all the dead skins come off. And there's no dirt and grime left. And so once I'm done, I just wash it off. And then I just, you know, remove the excess water from my face. I wipe it all off. And look how my skin, I mean, skin looks squeaky clean and uh, it almost looks brightened up and I've just increased the zoom and nothing else I'm not very good at working with this DSLR anyway it makes your skin so much more supple and fresh and glowy I really like my skin right now and I love the smell I don't know if you're not a fan of sandalwood smell then you might not like the smell um sorry I have a bit of a cold uh, anyway, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this review that I did and if you want me to do more reviews, uh, just leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye bye!